that virus of the false spirit of Vatican II simply corrupted the church. Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. There is a saying attributed to St. Teresa of Avila, the next time Satan reminds you of your past, remind him of his future. There's a lot to reflect on packed into that short phrase, the ultimate victory of God, the reality of final justice, the need to always have great gratitude toward God, the plan of the enemy's attack, the truth that the forgiven is a new creation, all excellent things to meditate on. St. John's Apocalypse calls the devil an accuser, and so he is. For souls who were ensconced in sin and were set free through grace and cooperation with that grace, the devil always wants to bring up the past in order to damage the future. He knows what his future is, and he wants every human being sharing in that future. So he tries to disturb souls by keeping their thoughts focused on sin instead of thinking about heaven and the road to get there. For souls trapped in sin, Bishop Sheen used to say that before the sin is committed, the devil is always saying, yeah, go ahead, no big deal, it's okay. At the same time, our blessed Lord says, no, don't do it. After the sin is committed, the roles immediately switch. Satan stands accusing, shaming you, and trying to make you think whatever you did is so awful that you are beyond forgiveness. But our blessed Lord is saying, no, it's okay, no big deal compared to my mercy, come back. The accuser truly is just that, the accuser. St. John tells us that he stands night and day accusing us before God. And that's a very important point, night and day, a way of saying that he is relentless. He never stops trying to drag us all down. But while he tries to gain access to each of us through our fallen natures, we must never forget that while he stands accusing, pointing the finger, always hearkening back to the past, we have the great advocate, the paraclete, the Holy Spirit defending us and supporting us. The Holy Spirit has another aspect of the past to remind us of, the passion and death of our Lord who redeemed us and makes us able to walk away from any past regardless of what it is. That's the whole point of the church. If we're merely creatures of our past, then the church has no power. If we remain trapped in our sins and our thoughts and fears, then the church and her sacraments would prove meaningless. But we know this isn't the case. The past in no way has to be our future. No one is actually trapped in sin. That's a diabolical deception. It just feels like you are trapped, and you are made to feel that way by the evil one. He doesn't want you thinking about mercy and forgiveness, so he just keeps accusing, keeps accusing, keeps pointing the finger. Simply do not listen to him. Direct your thoughts to your heavenly Father, period. Follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit, who is your advocate, your paraclete, as he reminds you of the great price paid for you through the suffering and death of the Son to reunite us with the Father. This is the heart of spiritual warfare, keeping focused on heaven with the certainty of the mercy of God as you move towards salvation, bearing your cross along the way. The devil's future is certain, and that's why he wants you overwhelmed by the past. But our Lord has a future for you as well. Receive it with great gratitude and forge ahead. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. Getting ready to buy or sell a home? Do you want to help support pro-life organizations? Then you need Real Estate for Life. Their experienced team of professional agents is ready to help you in every step of your journey, whether you are buying, selling, or both, and anywhere in the world. On top of that, what makes Real Estate for Life so great is that with every property bought or sold through one of their agents, an average of $1,000 and sometimes much more is donated to support the culture of life. Get a top-notch real estate agent and support pro-life causes at the same time. Don't wait any longer. Go to realestateforlife.org to learn more.